how well is your antenna transmitting? Not receiving, receiving is actually quite easy. Transmits quite hard. I've been using one watt on Whisper on this signature 12.4. So if you're considering a vertical, um, or you've got a vertical, or you're considering a DX commander, particularly the 12.4, that's got the 80 loaded element with the 30. This might be uh, quite interesting for you because uh, the last roughly about a week, whisper.aprsinfo.com, I've been transmitting on, um, well, 24-7 actually. <laughs> I was M0XXT, um, we'll do 2,000, the last 2,000 contacts in the last, let's do week, okay? Not all, that's ridiculous. We'll just flick down from 10 metres because a ground mounted 10 metre, you know, how well does it work? Well, it actually is working quite well. Now, on one watt, a lot of people are going to say, oh, you can work the world on milliwatts. You can on Whisper. Now, I wanted a result because I want to be able to ho hover over these things and see that it says on two watts I was there, it says minus 15. So 0.2 watts would have been minus 25. All right, you get the idea. It gives me a good idea of where this is where this is getting out. This guy here is always, I'm 2 dB over his noise floor there. That one's at minus 15, minus 26, minus 27. Whisper will go into the noise, minus 30 dB, or something it's ridiculous. Gives you a good idea of where the propagation is and how well your antenna is working, that's the point. You set it up, you know, on your, on your piece of software and it runs. It sends out signal for two minutes and listens for a while. So this is on transmit, not tra not receive. Okay, so that was 10 metres. We'll do 12 metres. Because we're going to be fascinated in a minute how well this 80 metre element that's loaded has been doing and how well's that 30 metre antenna. So this is the 80 metre with the big loading coil in the middle. Fascinating, isn't it? So it's 12 metres, slightly different plot. Isn't it interesting? The difference between 12 and 10. Uh, what, what band are we on? We're on uh, 12 meters. I'm doing some other things here. CQ12, CQ12 from K8NY calling. Hello, this is Mike uh, Zero X-Ray X-Ray Tango. Mike Zero X-Ray X-Ray Tango, a broadcasting station air. Hello, Callum. Good night. How you doing? Now, this assumes that 15 meters now, there is people actually listening for your signal. Because if there's nobody there, you won't get anything. Oh, my goodness. Very rarely I get an SSB contact over on the West Coast. So let's just have a look at some of these numbers. Minus 18, minus 22. So some of them are pretty bad. Minus 16. I'm looking, anything better than minus 10 would probably be an SSB contact. Five. Heavens. 23. Minus 10 or better, you're probably into sort of five and five SSB. Rule of thumb, okay? How did we do over here? Minus 12, so we've got a near, probably SSB, ZL1RD, whoever that is, and this is a minus 21. So anyway, now I don't know because every some of these stations I could have contacted 100 times, 200 times. Is this the first time we contacted them? Because if what we'd have to do is go to, like, say, the last 12 hours. I can't do the last hour because it's been off for about an hour. So that's the last 12 hours. So that'll be this morning, basically. Sunday morning, minus 20, 1. And 1 over here at 11.06 this morning, which has just gone midday. It's 14.18 as we talk, as we talk now. 14, it's not, it's actually 13.18 UTC. 15 metres, 17, well, I'll just do the last 12 hours, just this morning, that is. In fact, what we should do is the last 24, really. To get now, you know, last 24 will give you yesterday and today. So that's the last 12 hours, so that's only this morning. Let's go 24, so that'll give me yesterday afternoon as well. Here we are, on 17. So a quarter wave element, and if you don't... I say to people, get a piece of wire 4.95 metres long, straight up to a tree, but the center of the coax up that wire, but the braid of the coax, get some radial, any radials, just get them a couple of feet long, six feet long, 10, whatever you've got knocking around, 
you'll have a 20 meter antenna then just see how well a vertical works because you know some people are cocky aren't they? they go oh yeah equally bad in all directions i mean these are people who've never used a vertical uh, i mean look how well i've done over the years with a vertical i'm not saying they're the best but everything's always a compromise 20 meters where's that anchorage look minus 13 <sighs> lovely minus 14 minus 16 minus one isn't it funny you know you can see where the first so i'm here look at that five six hundred mile hop that first hop on 20 meters amazing isn't it how did we do down here minus 23 19 whatever that's it's quite complicated that's relative to their noise floor uh, i don't i don't quite get this right 30 meters uh last last night this will be on 30 meters uh well let's see how we did <laughs> it's incredible isn't it? <laughs> that's just incredible a 12 meter well just over 12 meter pole with a coil at eight meters so this is a five eighths ish i actually think the pattern is more like a quarter wave but absolutely fantastic i don't know what some of these numbers are minus five I mean, incredible. So, yeah, brilliant. Okay, and last two, 40 metres. I would expect to look similar, not quite as good as that 30 metre plot. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, not quite as good, is it? We didn't get over to the West Coast where 30 mid did. So that a 30 metre element is definitely working, isn't it? And now on 80, this is a tough ask. Is I mean, I haven't done this. Just last night, this is on 80 only. Let's have a look, see what we did. Not including the grey line. Okay, so we were getting out. I don't know what the uh, the numbers look like. Minus 22, 21. And if we go the last week, just on 80 metres, just, you know, some nights might have been better than others. Fantastic, let's have a look. Minus 12. I saw a minus 5 the other day. I'm thinking, gosh, that would have been definitely 5 and 5. But anyway, oh, there's a minus 5. KD2OM on 3.57 megahertz. So 100 watts, one of these, you'd have been crossing the Atlantic last, that night because there would have been plenty of people not on Whisper, not receiving my signals just cruising around it's quite interesting isn't it uh does it work yes it does that's it for the time being a few more videos coming out soon uh i'm just really busy i'm sorry i haven't been around that much sometimes my world is rather hectic okay all the best guys see you next time bye for now